A very good morning to everyone. Today we have a demo on popliteal fossa. It is a diamond shaped fossa which is present just behind the knee joint, which is homologous to cubital fossa of the upper limb. So this is something known as the lateral side of the knee joint, and this is known as the medial side of the knee joint. So we have to know the muscles which is forming the boundaries. The boundaries will be supralaterally, supramedially, infralaterally, and inframedially. So let's know the muscles which is forming the boundaries. So this muscles which I am showing you here, this bulk muscles is known as the biceps femoris. So supralaterally it is bounded by biceps femoris. Supramedially semi tendinosis. This is the tendon of semi tendinosis. Just deep to the semi tendinosis, this bulk muscles is known as semi membranosis muscle. Now same how we have. Infralaterally, this is known as the lateral head of the gastrocnemius, and let infra medially we have the medial head of the gastrocnemius, right? So this diamond shaped fossa is known as popliteal fossa. I repeat, this is known as biceps femoris, semi tendinosis, semi membranosis, the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. This is known as the medial head of the gastrocnemius, right? Same how we have to know the contents of the popliteal fossa. So this is known as sciatic nerve. Near the superior angle, it divides into tibial nerve and common peroneal nerve. The straight one, this is known as the tibial nerve. We have to know the branches of the tibial nerve, and this is known as the common peroneal nerve. Now, just deep to this nerve, we have the popliteal vessels. So this is known as the popliteal vessels. We have to know the branches of the popliteal artery. So in the middle, the one which I am showing you here, this is known as the popliteal vein. Yes, this is popliteal vein. Just deep to the popliteal vein, we have the popliteal artery. So we have supralateral, infralateral, supramedial, inframedial, and middle genicular artery, which is a branch of popliteal artery. Same how we have to know the the floor, which is forming the popliteal fossa, which is formed by the popliteal surface of the femur. Same how the fibrous capsules, oblique popliteal ligament. And and fascia covering the popliteus muscles as well as the popliteus. So this is all about the popliteal fossa. Thank you.